Coach Austin, Coach Tomlin kind of explained your role, which is new to the team, as kind of this hybrid thing, helping with the back end, doing some in-game stuff, replay said you'll be up in the booth. How would you explain what your role is with the Steelers? I would think it's pretty much what Mike said. Uh, I'm going to be working with the defensive backs, uh, which is uh, the main reason I was brought here. And then uh, on game day, I'm going to be helping uh, in terms of watching uh, replays, different, different aspects of it, and uh, trying to relay down uh, to Mike if I think that uh, we have an opportunity to challenge or not challenge. He said that this was already in your wheelhouse, something with all of your experience you've had in the league. Why did this Steelers job, I guess, appeal to you? Why is this a good fit for you personally? Well, I think one of the things uh, when you're looking for a job, you always want to look at a place that has a, a really good stability, uh, good reputation, good players, uh, good strong staff. And I think uh, this place had it all. And plus it was an opportunity for me to get back uh, to Western Pennsylvania, which I've uh, been, been out of here for a long time, but uh, it, it was good, it's, you know. So it, all that kind of blended together and it made it for an attractive uh, option. Since you mentioned that, you grew up in Sharon, PA, you played at Pitt. Is it almost cliche to say that this is a dream job or is it? Well, it'd be, it would be cliche, uh, but it, but it's nice. It's, it's good to get back home. I uh, see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a lot of years, uh, a little bit closer to my to my mom and my sister and, and uh, my nephews and all that, all that good stuff. But uh, it's, it's just good. To, I think it's just good to be back and, and be in, in, in a good organization and opportunity, I think, to win. And I think that's the important thing. Uh, you, want, you always want to go somewhere where you have an opportunity to win. And it, it, as a football coach or as a player, you don't care if it's in Alaska. That's what you, <laughs> you'll, you'll show up there. You already know Tom Bradley. You'll be working a lot with him. Take mm -hmm. me back. You guys crossed paths, I guess, for the first time, right, at Penn State? No. No. I'm going to give you the story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I crossed paths uh, when I was in high school. Uh, my high school coach, Jim Wildman, uh, who just retired this year, but uh, Jim Wildman, he used to take us all up to Penn State for camp, and that was the first time I was there. Uh, they didn't think I was good enough to play for Penn State. And so... Uh, I played here at Pitt, and then afterwards is where I ran into Coach Bradley, and he helped me get into Penn State and helped me get my first job, helped me get my foot in the door coaching. So uh, I owe him a lot. What has it been like, I guess, you know, jumping on a moving train, as Coach Tomlin likes to say, in terms of, you know, the draft prep and everything, but working alongside somebody that you do know? It's, it's good. It's easy. Uh, it makes the communication a lot better, easier, simpler, uh, because we do have some familiarity. And uh, I think the bottom line is what we want to do is try to make sure we, as we communicate, we're doing the best things and getting the best things ready for our players. You've had 16 years of experience coaching in the NFL. Who is one of the most impressive players that you've been around? I've been, <laughs> I've been around a bunch of really good players. I think that's the thing. Uh, shoot, I was in Arizona with Adrian Wilson, who is an outstanding player. Uh, been in Baltimore with Ed Reed and Ray and uh, uh, Terrell. Suggs when he was in his prime and you know those are Hall of Fame guys and uh, Calvin Johnson uh, just there, there's just there's too many really good players to to name them all and I'm sure I forgot somebody and somebody will call me and say hey what about me <laughs> but uh, it, it's it's just I think the nice thing about this league is you're going to run across great players every week I forgot about Fitz I mean you know you got Larry Fitzgerald who's born in Hall of Fame you know just but just when he's done and, and, and I mean it's just that's the one thing about the league that I love is that, that you have the opportunity to be on the same team with some great players and compete against some great players week in and week out. In terms of the Steelers team, I know you haven't had a chance to be in the you know a real team environment with the guys you're going to be coaching, but what do you think so far of this defense? Well, I like them. I mean, they're, they've always uh, had a great reputation for defense around here. It's been forever, and I think that's kind of Western PA, blue collar, bring your lunch pail to work and let's get after it. And I think this defense is no different. You watch them, they're, they're big, they're physical, they're fast, they play with a great tempo, uh, play with a little chip on their shoulder. And so that's what that's what I see on tape and, and, and that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to, to joining. Uh, you mentioned playing at Pitt and I saw recently you had a chance to go speak to their football team just right next door. Is that one of the first times you've been back since you left or how did that go about? <laughs> yeah, that's about, that would be about it, because when I was in college, they didn't want me back because I was recruiting against them. <laughs> and, uh, and since I've been in the league, the only time I think I ever had an opportunity to speak was when we, when I was at Detroit and we practiced here against the Steelers a few years ago. Okay. Me and Coach Caldwell and maybe one other person, we came over and watched a little bit of practice and said a few words. But 
I don't think I said anything. I think Jim said all the <laughs> did all the talking. So uh, that was the first time, and it was it was neat. Oh, 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 oh,